I just wanted to take a look now for a minute at this, um, just this list of what we consider indoor air pollutants and what their sources are. Um, the pollutants, um, solid or particulate indoor pollutants are asbestos. Asbestos is a material that's used in uh, floor tiles and some insulation. And it can break off and it, it creates this little particulate matter that then can, be, can breathe in and can cause um, lung disease. Um, in modern um, materials, asbestos is no longer used for this reason. And so that's why sometimes if someone's gonna do a remodeling job and they're gonna tear up their floor tiles or tear out their insulation, they have to have an asbestos um, team come in, people with special masks and whatnot, to, to tear things up, and then they put it all in plastic bags to keep the bits of asbestos out of the air um, because it's, it's, it's been um, tied to lung cancer directly. Um, pet dander and dust, obviously, can come from pets. Um, that contributes to particulate matter. Molds, mildew, bacteria, and viruses. Um, you know, molds and mildew, if you have a lot of moisture in the air, you can have more mold and mildew build up. And then, you know, inside, if you don't have good circulation, it's all just staying inside. That's why people get sick more in the winter, because people are inside more and the viruses get passed from person to person. Um, then the liquids and gases, um, some common like styrene is a, um, is a um, plasticizer in some poly uh, polymers. And that can come from carpet, for example. It can, um, it's volatile and it can um, evaporate out of new carpet. Um, carbon monoxide, benzene, nicotine, and particulate matter, all of those nasties come from cigarette smoke. Dry cleaning fluid or mothballs um, are pollutants. Um, they can come from clothes. Um, ozone, actually from electric arcing. So inside your house, we talked about where ozone comes from outside your house, but inside electric arcing, that's for example in your printers. Anywhere where you have a high um, potential difference, you're gonna have electric arcing. And so if you're running your printer a lot, you can produce ozone and you can even smell it sometimes if you're in a small room, a small office, um, in an office or a home with a lot of printers, especially laser printers, they'll produce um, ozone. Um, unvented space heaters, carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides, that's very dangerous. You hear sometimes in the winter of people using these um, fuel, um, you know, like propane or butane powered space heaters and they don't have a lot of air circulation because they're inside a tight space with not a lot of air circulation. Well, as the fuel burns, it, you know, it's burning up the oxygen, using up the oxygen around it. And when the oxygen concentration is low, remember, you can make carbon monoxide accidentally. And so every year you'll see in the news of accidental death where somebody is trying to heat their home with a space heater, but it's not well vented. And um, the carbon monoxide will build up. And it, especially like overnight, people will just be asleep and they'll never even know it. Um, you'll see it happening on boats and in trailer, and trailers and things like that also. Um, formaldehyde um, is a is another small molecule that is found in um, some furnitures. It can, over time, it just evaporates out. It's a volatile organic compound. Acetone, toluene, those are um, solvents that are used in glues. Um, and they say solvents, for example, like um, fingernail polish remover or paint thinner, things like that. Those are also volatile organic compounds that have been shown to be carcinogenic. Um, and then some of these others, methanol, methylene chloride, Again, paint and paint thinners, this, these are found, they are, um, methanol itself is, is a poison, methylene chloride is a carcinogen, and of course radon we've talked about before. So these are all some, these, these compounds would be um, present in very small concentrations, but because they're inside, they can build up. Like the styrene for the carpet, I don't know if you all remember um, several years ago when they had all those FEMA trailers for the Katrina and Rita um, hurricane evacuees. Um, then people were getting sick from the trailers. It was because the carpet um, and the flooring that they had used in those tra trailers were giving off, um, you know, these volatile organic compounds and, and then in turn was making people sick. So um, you just have to be very careful just to air out, you know, like that new car smell. Um, for a new car, it's just all the vol volatile organic compounds coming out of the um, fabrics and whatnot that are there in the floor mats, the rubber and everything in your cars. So you just have to let things air out, and that's one way you can control indoor air pollution.